Hello guys, welcome again. In this video, we are going to run N8N using Docker and connect it with ngrock and serve to the internet. This exact approach you can use also for the production use cases. So let's get into it. What is Docker? So Docker is an environment or you can say a framework that allows you to run your code everywhere inside the multiple operating systems. Okay, but why this matters? So N8N, if you see inside their GitHub repository, if you go into their GitHub repository, they provide you the two solutions to run the N8N in local environment. One is the NPM, for which we have already created a video. Another is the Docker. So Docker, if you go to this uh, setup guide, it is going to confuse you. If especially when you are going to connect it with the third party tool in the local environment, it definitely this is going to work. But if you want to connect and build something like a telegram trigger or telegram agent, this is not going to work. I'm going to tell you why. Let's understand what is Docker and how it runs in your local machine. So let me go, go with a diagram. Okay. So here is a diagram where you can see here is your N810 inside your computer. And Docker provide a layer which allows you to run N8N locally into your PC. So when you run your Docker environment, it is just going to serve you the N8N inside your local machine. And when you access in HTTPS 5678, it is going to open your Docker workflow, uh, sorry, N8N workflow in your local machine. But when you try to go and use this inside the other machine, so it is not going to access because the local host is only available into your machine only, not in the other machine. So that is why this is your computer and N8N is going to work only in your computer, not others one. But why this matter? We are not going to serve it to the other customer. But here is a trick. We want to add the third party API things. For example, webhooks for the Telegram or WhatsApp APIs, or for example, the um, Facebook Messenger, or any kind of things we need to add. For the webhook, it need an IP address. And when you put local host, it is not going to detect where is your computer over the world. So we need a medium. We need a medium like ngrock. And ngrock is playing a crucial role in serving your local host and giving a specific IP address. So ngrock is going to provide you one domain name which is going to serve your local system into the internet. And with that IP address, it is going to provide a tunnel between the internet and your local machine. So that your local machine is going to convert as a server and other facilities in the internet is going to connect with your local machine. As simple as that. This is going to be confusing, but stay tuned. So let's set up an ngrock environment. So for setting the ngrock, you have to go to the website ngrock.com and you have to log in. In the first screen, you will set up, uh, see the setup guide and setup instruction guide, similar to your platform. If you are in a Mac OS or Windows and Linux or any kind of things, you have to follow these instructions. Even they are giving the specific instructions for setting up the ngrock environment like this. But stay tuned, I'm just going to use the simpler version for you. So here I am in the Mac OS and you have to follow these instructions to set up your ngrock in the local environment. Okay, is that okay? Fine. Now let's set up the Docker in your local machine. For setting the Docker, you have to download the Docker. So here in the in inside the GitHub repository of N8N, I'm going to click this Docker button, and here you can see the Docker installation guide. This guide is something that is going to give you the same instruction as in the GitHub repository, but you don't have to follow these instructions. Instead, you have to go to the server setups. And inside the server setups, you have to go to the Docker Compose section. This Docker Compose section is going to give you the brainstorm. And this is going to give you the more flexibility to use your N8N in local environment. So what you have to do first, you have to install the Docker in your local machine. First thing. So what you have to do is you have to install the Docker by clicking on the Docker Compose or Docker button here. And you go to this website. In this website, you will see the different setup guide in inside your different uh, machines. So for example, if you are in a Windows, if you are in a Mac, or if you are in other uh, systems, you can in easily install a Docker engine. But if you are in, uh, I would say in the Windows application, you have to download uh, the Docker file. So for uh, downloading the Docker, you have to just go to the uh, Windows section 
and you have to directly download the docker for the windows or the docker window for the arm anything you want to add okay and for this you have to use the hyper v or wsl this is the command line tool you have to use otherwise this is not going to work because these are the command line specifically built for the linux kind of things and wsl and hyper v is going to provide you the uh, linux kind of environment inside your local machine so you have to follow these instructions if you are a windows users i'm in the mac and i'm going to follow other instructions so here let's get started after installing the docker in your local machine follow these instructions as same as possible so open the terminal i'm going to open the terminal like this and here i am going to clear my terminal for now and here you have to paste these two command firstly you have to put docker sorry docker dash dash v or version so this is going to give you the version i have already installed docker in my local machine so it's giving me the 20th version if this is not showing in your pc you should keep in mind you have not properly installed docker in your machine or check your linux uh, environment please check the wsl uh, documentation properly in the windows if you are linux i don't think you have to do anything else okay now do the next command docker compose docker compose uh, sorry compose and does this version so this is going to give me the version of docker compose i don't have to put the dash vv i is just to just say version so i am running the docker version v2.1.1 so that means i have properly installed a docker compose in my local machine also now let's move to the next thing you have to go to your your root access or something but you don't have to follow these things i'm just going to go straight in the dns setup sections and get started with these commands okay so let's get into it i'm going to open my terminal let's clear this up and going to write the first command here so i am going to go to my desktop so i am going to say desktop and hit enter i am in the desktop repository right now and i have to create a directory here so i am going to say macdir and i am saying n8n setup okay so this is uh, my uh, repository and i am going to go to this repository n8n the setup so i am going to the change directory so please follow these commands as given in this okay so they have uh, written the name n8 and compose but i am saying n8 and setup okay so i am in the n8 and setup file now you have to do these few commands here very very carefully firstly you have to create dot env file so you can either do by the command line things or you can go to your file manager and find this folder and create dot env file or dot uh, other files that i'm going to say so you can use the, both of the things i'm just going to stay with the terminal because it's going to very easy so you i have to just type nano this is the command line interface that allows me to update the files locally directly from the terminal so i'm going to say dot env and hit enter i am going to just copy this whole command by copy button this here and going to go to the terminal again and paste it here now i have to change two things one is the domain name and another is the subdomain so i am using ngrock free version so what i am going to do i am going to the ngrock website and going to take my static domain name and you can see here this is the complete url so this is the subdomain and dot ngrock dot free dot app is my the domain name so i'm going to take this ngrock free dot app and copy this and going to paste it here so i am going to you can you have to use your uh, keyboard and just scroll up go up and delete this example.com and paste it here now come to the uh, subdomain delete this n8 n and copy this subdomain privately this one copy this go to the terminal and paste it here that is it you have to do this thing only you have to just press control x and type yes and hit enter now your env file has been saved you can see .cat.env and you can see your whole env file has been saved now you have to create another directory or another file so i am going to go to scroll down and create a local file called mkdir so i am just going to copy this command i'm going to terminal and paste this hit enter okay number 6 and create a docker compose file so for creating the docker compose file now you have to do the same command as we did for the dot env type n a n nano and docker compose docker compose dot 
YML. Make sure the extension is correct and hit enter. Now you have to paste the whole command here. So copy from here and paste it here. What you have to do now after pasting it here, command X and Y and hit enter. It will going to save it. To see the file, you have to just press LS and you can see you have the two files here. Other files are not showing because I have remove uh, sorry dot env file is a hidden file and that is why it's not showing in the terminal okay that is it now you have to do the few commands anymore please stay with me one thing is you have to run the docker compose this is it copy this go to the terminal and paste this command so this is going to ask you the password of your local machine i'm going to type my password for my local machine and it's going to run the thing it's going to take some time for your local machine to run up but stay tuned this is going to work now this is running how you can go to check it you have to just check it while going to your local host okay so i'm going to say the local host 5678 and you can see this is asking me to set up my own account and let's test if it's just running into the local uh, ng rock so i'm going to just copy this url copy this and going to paste it here it is asking it is having some error why it is having error because I have not served yet this my local host 5678 okay so let's do it so for serving the local host 5678 I have to do few commands so what I have to do is uh, go to your ng rock and you have to just keep this command copy this go to your terminal paste this command and in the last you have to update the port name so right now our port is 5678 by default provided by uh, and it and and you have to just hit enter now your local port is now hosted in the cloud now go to the same URL hit enter and you will able to find the same screen this is it this is how the whole n it and is working right now and now you can create your account so right now I'm going to create my account uh, sorry going to paste uh, enter my name and the password is something in capital letter in small letter this is it no i never don't want to security updates hit enter next it is asking more for just simple things i am just keeping keep filling this up get started uh, no i don't want to save this uh, skip if you want to uh, permanent license key you can keep to do this but i'm just skipping it and start the from scratch thing you have to keep in mind this is working or not so first step you have to go and type here the telegram I'm, because I have already created video to telegram it is easily for you to connect with this click on message and check this webhook URL so you can go and check this webhook URL and this if this is working this is you are in the right path okay you should have this particular domain name that is showing here okay now you have to create your credentials video I'm just going to paste my credentials key here save it here and now let's try to listen this word. So I'm going, going to open my bot in Telegram and say, hi there, how are you? You can see my text is here. And now my setup is working for the third party connections. This is it, my guys, in this video. Hope you have liked it. If you have any problems, this is so much technical, but I feel this is something that uh, worth solving. And uh, hope you have liked it. And hey guys, this is it in this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video because this video is uh, taking a good amount of efforts to bring you some latest update in AI. Uh, so yeah, this is it. And let's see you in next video. Thank you.